must visit my channel then please subscribe and press the bell icon for new updates okay in this lecture i am talking about the most widely accepted model of plasma membrane that is fluid mosaic model this model is proposed by singer and nicholson okay according to fluid mosaic model the bilayer of lipid and there are also proteins in bilayer of lipid this is hydrophilic head okay and this is hydrophobic tail this is the lipid bilayer and proteins are arranged either this portion this is peripheral as it is situated at the periphery so this is peripheral protein and this is integral protein why it is integral protein because it is penetrated throughout the lipid bilayer okay this also may arrange partially or completely in this picture this is shown as completely penetrated okay so it is also called transmembrane protein <laughs> there are some carbohydrates are present also if the carbohydrates are linked to it protein then this is glycoprotein and if carbohydrates are linked with lipid then this is called glycolipid why it is called the fluid mosaic model because proteins are arranged proteins are arranged like mosaic in the lipid bilayer so this is fluid mosaic model singer and nicholson also compared this model as ice bar in c ice bar means here protein and c is compared to the lipid as lipid is fluid okay there are also cholesterol present and it has the great role in membrane fluidity okay so this is the overall fluid mosaic model there are proteins present either peripherally or integral there are lipid bilayer this is hydrophilic head and hydrophobic tail and there are cholesterol present and also carbohydrate are linked with protein or lipid if it is linked with protein this is called glycoprotein and if it is linked with lipid then this is called glycolipid that is the overall idea about the fluid mosaic model and this is more widely accepted model till now this is called the fluid mosaic model proposed by singer and nicholson nicholson in 1972 thank you